It's June, so that means it's Father's Day this month. So let's turn our attention to the men in our life. Here to chat about what it means to be a dad is TV presenter Jeff Brazier. Jeff, lovely to see you. And you. Now, how has becoming a dad changed your life? Oh, well, um, for starters, you think about yourself a lot less and you think about all of a sudden these little bundles of joy a lot more, don't you? <laughs> so it feels like, you know, so, so long ago, an age ago that, that these two were being born. Um, and then, you know, before you know it, they're, they're teenagers. So how old are they now? Because you've got two sons. Uh, yeah, so Freddy, Freddie's 12, Bobby's 13. Wow, that's gone quick. They've grown up. I Lovely can't lads. believe it. And, and yeah, I mean, Bobby's, is, he's, he's in that picture. That's sort of a, a year ago, but he's as tall as me now. Really? So um, it's funny. Like, how does I don't, that make you feel? I, I don't mind it. It's progress, really. It's getting there. It's <laughs> becoming a man. And that's my job, isn't it? It's to kind of bring them into their adulthood. And what sort of things do you like to do together? Because you are very close and you are a real hands-on dad, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We love walking the dogs. We love to... Um, play football, that we're all football mad. Um, Freddie's into boxing, so I'm always taking him there. You're really um, good at football, aren't you? I'm all right, yeah, yeah, I used to play, so I still try and sort of keep a hand. I play in charity games and I love it. I enjoy it so much and I'm a coach as well, so um, I coach Bobby's team. Oh, brilliant. Um, and it's not easy coaching your son. No one wants to be the manager's son. <laughs> so you're like, shut up, Dad. He is. Like, everybody, <laughs> if, I, if I sort of say anything to any of the, any of the lads, they all sort of take it on board because it's always constructive. It's never criticism. Uh, but yet Bobby's like, rrr, rrr, he's always got an answer back. And um, it, it makes it a little bit difficult, I must admit. But... Um, but they're a good little team and they all enjoy it. That's the yeah. Thing. Now, you do always manage to look good. Oh, cheers. Yeah, you've got great um, fashion sense. So just talk us through what you're wearing today and would the boys approve? Well, I'll stand up. I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little look. So we've got just a very simple grey T-shirt. Mm -hmm. I like the detail because it's like one of those sort of old sweaters, um, like American sort of sweater. Yeah. Um, I like tight jeans, although I'll be honest, I've got massive thighs, so usually I can't get them. thighs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> usually I can't get them um, into a pair of jeans, but for, somehow these jeans fit particularly well, so I, I'll buy 10 pairs of them. So they um, are stretch denim? Yeah, they've got a lot of um, a elasticity lot of in them. <laughs> a lot of give, a lot of love. I don't know how much exactly, but... And then you're just teaming it up with a, a, a white shoe, obviously a white a white trainer, because it's, it's the summer and this is... This is keeping me cool and it's it's as simple as it needs to be, really. Yeah, well, it is kind of, it's the Scandi look, isn't it? That's what we like to call it. Now, this is, is this how you would normally dress or has this been influenced by <clears> your <throat> son slightly? There's an influence. like Because of work, because of work in television, we are always looking smart. My particular role in this morning, I was always wearing blazers, ties, and just kind of really getting into that look. And then I kind of just lost my casual game. I lost it entirely. And now, actually, because the boys are really fashion conscious, um, you know, it gets more and more so the older they get. I'm starting to notice what they're doing and I'm starting to follow them a little bit. So, so they're becoming see. my inspiration. I can definitely see the influence there. Look, yeah. with Bobby, because he's kind of a similar looking, it's a bit more of a relaxed vibe. Well, Bobby hates the fact that I'm taking a picture of him in the first place, but he shouldn't look so cool, should he? It's they do fault. look really cool. You've got really cool sons. And, and Freddie, I'll, I'll be honest, Freddie's destined to be a little stylist because he's forever picking outfits, but not just for me, for my girlfriend as well. Oh, he, really? He'll put an outfit together for my girlfriend and, um, and, and it'll always be like, that's really good, that's really impressive. Love so. that. I'd wonder if you'd be impressed with this outfit we've got mm. here today. This is Sam. Sam's wearing this, obviously, for the young Younger lads, would your sons have worn something like this? How are you, Sam? Good. You're good. Well, Sam, you're, you're rocking that outfit amazingly well, and that is absolutely something that Freddie would wear because he'd feel cool in it. <clears throat> he'd love the fact that you've got slip-ons on. They comfortable on your feet? Um, yeah, they're yeah. really comfortable. Yeah, and you've got some little detail in there. He'd like that that element. What as is well. it on the? Are they, are they palms and what else is on there? Palms and surf. surf. Palms and surf, like that, really nice. So that's a really cool shirt. I like the fact that it's also turned up as well a little bit. It gives it kind of a bit of an edge. I think that's a bit of you putting your own stamp on it, isn't it? And the denim shorts mm. as well. They're a really good length for this summer. So that's a really that, cool summer that's outfit. That's an outfit for the, for the evening. Sam, looking cool, looking like a dude. Thank you. Nice so one, Sam.